his opponent across the ring. King out of Manchester, Crusher. Opening round scheduled for 10. Crusher's showing you a little defensive skill there. I will move away from that punch. Well-targeted left hand by Crusher. And he's able to put his punches together. That's a nice-looking combo. Well, that's the benefit of two and three instead of one. Precision work with the left hand by Crusher. Crusher's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. He's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. Good jab by Crusher. Here we go. Round two is underway. That was a fine block by Crusher. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Crusher's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Nice combination. Landing more than one. Both were able to score. Way through this round here. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well placed right hand. They both decide to bring it. Teddy, among the things that we're going to key in on here early on in this fight is the ability to go to the body. It's very important because what it does is stops the ability of your opponent to defend the headshots. Takes away some of that head movement. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. You know, that jab is so basic, so simple, but as you can see, so very effective for him early on in this fight. Yeah, well, he's telling his opponent, you're not coming onto my property. You know, I have a dog here, and this dog fights. A barrage of punches that time. Good combination. Yeah, that's what you Bonus. want. And take a look at those punch stat numbers. Very impressive work rate. Do you like a guy who just is flat out busier, Teddy? As long as he's not reckless while he's being busy. Yeah, as long as he's tight with his punches, and his punches are in the right location, not too far away. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Crusher. Crusher's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch.
right back at him with a left hand. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Rusher's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Smooth work by Crusher. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Crusher's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Final 10 seconds. Two snapping jabs by Crusher. And round three, Crusher's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. There's the combo downstairs. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, That's no better it. way than That's to change it. his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. Rusher's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. It's a momentum changer upstairs. Both men digging in with uppercuts. You're not boosting. 90 seconds to go in round number four. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Very accurate two-punch combo by Crusher. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Crusher is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Back to the body. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Blocks that punch. Rusher's corner has been in. You get a moment to gather up here. You're leading on the scorecards, but you still have to stand up and deliver. Comes right back with some offense of his own. A solid left hand by Crusher. Doing very nicely, staying way out of range of danger and utilizing his jab. And usually he's a guy, if we were talking about basketball, he's a guy who likes to be in the paint, hit some layups, do a little dunking. Hey, he's got a jump shot. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good, solid right hand he lands there. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Rusher is able to avoid that punch. Keep moving, keep moving. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Body shots. Right to the body.
able to time that left hand and score with it. Good return fire that time. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start to wonder. Halfway through this fight as this round gets underway here. But interesting so far, who knows what we're in store for down the stretch. A well-placed left hand up top. Fires right back at him. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Rusher's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. And now he's targeting upstairs. Stay away from the inside. Rusher's combination punching is working well here. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. He just missed that shot up top. What a good war this is. He wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. And he returns on that exchange. How about a return to center with the left hand? well up top what a damaging blow nice hook upstairs Rain. and what a clever combination by crusher Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. What guts it takes. What commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been nonstop. Now, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. Right back to the belt line. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Keep your distance, Ray. Keep it going. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. And the bell rings. Signifying. You know, I get the sense as we open up this eighth round that he knows exactly where he stands right now. He's slightly up on your scorecard, but you can see he's got a little pep in his step. Yeah, and he has a choice to make. Do you just stay in? Really, this is what separates guys sometimes in anything we do out there, not just boxing, but does he just stay ahead now? Does he just slightly stay ahead? Maybe the other guy catches up there. Or does he look to go after it? Does he look to close the show? Take more. That was not well.
well targeted by Crusher. Crusher's found exactly what he likes on the inside, and it is that power punch of choice, the uppercut. Now what he has to do is add something to it. It picks the head up, put something on top, and finish the job. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Yeah, Rusher's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips. The old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. He's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Stay away from those. Come on. He just smashed him with that power punch. That'll teach him to be aggressive with a tall fighter. Good exchange. He fires back. So they close out that business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great Customato. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations, probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those, you know, really great trainers and managers that boxing was their whole life. I spent seven years with Customato, and I learned the nuts and bolts from a physical, technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter, but the psychological part, to understand the pressures that a fighter is under, the fears that a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything. But you have to understand how a fighter is feeling, to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. Rush is showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts and how much of that is being trained well, well most of it's trained well gotcha, if gotcha. i take a guy off the street show and he hasn't been taught anything he's going to throw punches but usually he's not going to have a good defense that's something that has to be attained that's something that has to be taught this guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals back and forth exchange Rusher's proving to be elusive. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He scored well after being hit himself. Just keep moving. Good double jab by Crusher. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Rusher's got that accurate. They meet up one more time. The last round has arrived. What an excellent two-punch combo by Crusher. Rusher's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Teddy, he's just covering up. That's all he's doing, but it gives his opponent so much time to pick where he isn't. Yeah, you're right, Joe. I mean, first of all, some of them are going to get through and some of them are watching them. They're getting through. And you just touched on it. I mean, you cover up, you tell your opponent, hey, I'm camping out, I'm not throwing back. So instead of throwing one or two at you, he's throwing combinations of three, four, five. You got a problem. Good job on the two-punch combo by Crusher. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Rusher's able to land a good, solid left hand. Good, strong combo. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Hello. 
Last dance, last chance. Last minute of the last round. Crusher's right hand scores well that time. Keep working it, bud. A crushing two-punch combo by Crusher. Crusher's objective is to... And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the table. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. That was good stuff throughout. Which way did the judges lean? Let's send it up to the ring to find out.